Hey, you guys. I'm back. And yes, it's the same day. And I still have a back seat full of groceries because I'm at home and I need to get them in the house. Okay. But before that, I wanted to talk to you for a minute because as I said, when I first started the channel, I didn't see a lot of um, things geared towards big women when it came to information on a lot of stuff that I was looking for. I mean, I appreciate all the channels about all the, the female information. I follow a lot of the channels. But it was just like I wanted to know how the situation would play out for a plus size person. Woman. What am I saying? Okay. Um, <laughs> I wanted to know how certain situations and certain products work for plus size women. So, I went to Walmart. I think it was this past weekend. Um, I need to do like that video of of when I went to Georgia this past weekend to Atlanta and um, I'm from the Mississippi Gulf Coast well that's where I currently reside born and raised in Mississippi but anyway <laughs> I went to the to Georgia so um, I kind of tried to pack light so I just had like my change of clothes and stuff because it was really it was kind of like a, a work and my brother's birthday type of situation and I didn't take any soap or toothpaste or any of that stuff with me because um, we ended up staying, um, staying the night in my hometown that Friday and we left out that Saturday morning and then we came back Sunday. It was real quick. It, like I said, it was my brother's birthday trip and um, things didn't go as planned, but we went anyway. Me, him, and um, my best friend slash cousin. <laughs> Who better watch this video i'm just playing anyway i didn't i packed light and i was like you know i don't want to feel like you know hauling all my stuff besides my medicine which i of course need but i didn't feel like hauling like the soap and stuff out of my bathroom and my deodorant and all that stuff so i said you know what i need kind of new stuff different stuff anyway so i'll just go to walmart and i will get new stuff not new stuff. I'll get soap and stuff that I always use. So, I don't want my phone to get too hot, so let me move it. Um, I went to Walmart, and I picked up the usual things that I get. And I'll put um, pictures of those, like, probably right in here somewhere. So you can see, like, what I normally buy to take a bath with. Um, there's the Dove Sensitive Skin, which I absolutely love because my skin is is i don't know it's like at one point i could only use baby soaps and stuff which for a grown person is not good because you have to take like two three showers a day just to you know stay fresh and i was using baby soap and like um like kid stuff or whatever but i found the dove sensitive skin and it worked for me it didn't irritate me down there it was fine. It was fine to use, and I, I was in love with it. And so it was the only thing I would use for the longest time because I couldn't use any of my Bath and Body Works or Victoria's Secret soaps that I had used, like, my whole entire adult life. Um, and this was, like, years ago that I had used. So, because it started to irritate me. Um, so I went with the dove and it it doesn't really have a smell so you kind of have to like use your body sprays or whatever as long as it's for me at least as long as i don't spray it directly on my you know lower half you know around my vagina whatever i mean i guess it's cool to say but that area it's okay so i was kind of tired of it. i wanted something you know some smell good some some something different so i found the vagicil and i'll put a picture of that in here um somewhere in this video that um i like and it's like a feminine wash and it was peach scented because i really love the peach scent i really like the smell of it and i said you know what i'm gonna try this with my dove and I'm gonna see how it works and Vagisil also has a dry wash that's the same as the um, 
the feminine wash and I got that also but I use that it's just like a body spray and it smells so good and um, I use it all the time and it, it kind of sticks to you all day and it's not expensive it's like five dollars I think and it's the dry wash and that's what I kind of I use it as a body spray I mean I don't know <laughs> what else you would use it for but i mean it's whatever i just use it as a body spray to go along with the um feminine wash that i have so um with that being said those are two and then when i started using the vagicea and i think it's like sensitive sense or something that it says on it and anyway it's like peach blossom or peach it's something like that but it's peach it smells like peaches and i started using that along with my dove and I gradually started to to wash myself my intimate areas with the vagicea and at first when I was using it directly it would kind it was kind of weird might have you know throw me off a little bit I don't know if it was my pH or whatever I'm not I'm I'm so not up on that type of stuff I just know what makes me feel clean and what doesn't and what irritates me and what doesn't so I would um wash with the the vagicea and then I mean I don't even know if this is the correct way to do it but I would wash with the vagicea and then I would go back and wash with the the sensitive skin and then I might wash with the vagicea again but I just felt a little bit more protected because I had the the dove on and I just used two separate tiles for that and then when I got out and I could you know every I had all my underclothes on whatever I would use the dry wash which which was fine it never irritated me but I would use it like around my chest and around my intimate areas whatever with my un, my underclothes on of course I'm trying to be you know anyway that's how I would that's how I would bathe with it so it wouldn't like be like directly on me but I would still have the scent I would still you know have the effect of it and I would just use two different tiles so I know that this this tile was for that soap this tile was for this soap and you know the vagicea was cool to go all around everywhere else and down there too and I eventually got used to it and sometimes I can just you know if I'm in no hurry I'll just use the vagicea and or I use the dove, I use one or the other, and I just rinse it off, of course, and then you know, rewash it, whatever. My areas. I saw um some I has I saw a commercial about a lady that has started a company. I think it's called the honey pot. I mean, don't jump down my throat if I forgot it, but I think it's called the honey pot. And she makes like soaps and, and things like that. I mean, I'm not so, like, familiar with it. But I will have a picture of it in here. And I was in Walmart. Like, I'm going back. I was in Walmart to buy soap and stuff. So, I saw this foaming cleanser. And it was like, um... And I said, oh, I remember this commercial. And she was like, everything was natural. And, um... She started the company. And then it, it grew and everything. And I always like to support, um female owned businesses and things like that or whatever I mean all you know small businesses or whatever but anyway I was so intrigued with her story and everything about how she started and how it grew and then I, when I was reading a bottle it tells you like you know it's made for women by women and things like that and then I saw it was like you know it helps balance your pH and things like that of me reading it so, with that being said, I said, I'm going to try this. I don't know why I picked the weekend when I'm going to be on the road for hours at a time. And I decided I was going to try this. I said, you know what? I'm going to just hold it and wait till I get home. So, um, it was a hectic weekend. And I have been waiting until today um, to use it. So when I took a shower today, I said, you know what? I'm going to use this. I'm going to see how it works because, you know, being plus size and everything, I was thinking that, you know, it might be, you know, not for me. Because 
I don't know if all big women get that feeling, but sometimes you get a feeling that, you know, stuff is made, but it's made for, like, regular sized women. It's not for us. Or at least that's how I feel, you know, I, uh, sometimes. And, um, I said I'm going to try it. So, I used it by itself. Um, well, you know, for the intimate areas. I used it for that. And I used, like, my, um, I think the Dove. I think I used the Dove or the Vagicea. One or the other two for the, you know, the all over. And I used just the Honey Pot. And I'm promise I'm gonna keep it's a picture. It's gonna be a picture in here. Um, I used the honey pot for my intimate areas, and I did what it said. I mean, I might have put like an extra two or three pumps on it because when I, it was so light till I was like, oh, this might not lather up, you know, like good enough for you know what I'm saying. You ladies, you get me. You kind of how to put your leg up on the side of the tub and. Make sure you get all in the cracks and crevices and stuff. So, I was like, this might not work. Because it was so light and foamy. And I was like, I've never used anything like that before. Usually, I use body wash. That's my thing. It's, it's body wash, shower gel, that type of thing. So, um, I used it. And it was fine. And I washed myself off and everything and got out. And, I mean, it smells fine. I think it, it was like um, lavender and something else that's in it. I'm so sorry, y'all. I can't remember. Of course, I'm in my car and it's in my bathroom and I don't have it. But um, I'm going to take a... Like I said, if you ever go to Walmart, because I got it from Walmart. It's like vinegar, lavender, something else in it. And it's like, you know, it helps... I think it helps balance your pH and all that type of stuff. But it, it's a real light scent to it. It's not like, like, oh, oh my God, it's too much lavender. No, it's a real light scent to it. And I used it, and I'm thinking to myself, how long is this going to last? So, after I got dressed and I walked around the house and did a couple of other things. And like you know, of course, my back seat, I got, I walked around Family Dollar and um, I waited at Walmart for a little while before the pickup. So, I, uh, I know all of us know what, like, a smell check is, ladies. All of us know that, so I don't have to go into detail about it. But it's just to make sure that everything down below still smells good. I know, I know we all do that. Um, so, I did... Just a minute ago, I did, like, a smell check, you know, because it's just me and whatever. But I did a smell check, and then I was like, okay. All right, this is not bad. I mean, it's it really, it really sticks with you. And you don't have a scent or a smell with it. I don't know. Um... Like I said, today was my first day using it, but I just want to put it out there that I do like the honey pot. Um, it's the honey pot. I think it's like foaming cleanse. It's something. It's I'm. I swear to y'all, I I know it. It's honey pot, and it's like the body wash, and it's like it's, it comes in the thing when it's got like a little pump on it, and you just pump it on your on your towel, and you use it. And I think it's some kind of, it says cleanser or foaming cleanser or foaming wash, something like that. And no, it's this, of course, it's not paid or anything like that. I don't have nearly enough followers or whatever to be getting paid off of, um, what do they call it? Because I watch a lot of channels on YouTube, like endorsements or paid sponsorship or whatever. I'm just telling you, big girl to big girl, and I'm a big girl. I'm a big girl. I like it. And it was light and I felt clean and I didn't feel the need to um like follow up with some of my normal wash. I just used it cuz I was like I'm going to go all day out and I'm going to see and which I have been out all day. I've been a couple of places. And I was like I'm going to see how it works and um I'm fine. And I mean, 
I'm a big girl, and I mean, just to put it out there, like, if you want to try it, and, and if you, um, I don't know, there's, there's, probably, there's probably a lot of reviews on this. I didn't watch a review before I bought it. I just remember seeing her on a commercial, for a Wal, uh, Walmart commercial. She was talking about, you know, her product in the store. So, I bought it. I tried it. I like it so far. No uh, weird side effects or nothing like that. I feel clean. I still smell clean. I have been out and about and it's like 70 something degrees. My hair is dried out and I like it. So if you look or you if you're looking for another soap to use, so far so good. I don't for me, I, I would try the honey pot. I would. Big girl to big girl, woman to woman, whatever. I would try it because I'm about to go put up my groceries, uh, make a quick video of my grocery hauls from Family Dollar and Walmart, and then I'm going to go hit the track before I have to take my daughter somewhere this afternoon, and um, I'll just like insert another little clip to let you know, hey, I'm still good, or you know, whatever, Because but after you hit the track and stuff like that, of course, you're going to be sweating and a whole bunch of other crap, but so far so good and i'm fine no problems just wanted to let you know that if you're looking for a different soap to try or something to add to your uh, repertoire of soaps or whatever like i think all of us females have um it's the honey pot i like it i mean i feel good i don't feel greasy i don't feel none of that no, no nothing, no, no residue, no none of that, and I can't wait to use it later on tonight. The honey pot picture's gonna be right here, along with the other soaps that I use. Just wanted to let you know that real quick. Sorry if I was long-winded. I'm out. <laughs>